In this video, I'll show you how you can create a nice and minimalist card you can use to control your thermostat or air conditioner unit. As always, you can find the full code on the Gumroad link in the description. First step is to install button card from Hacks, if you haven't already. Start by creating a new custom button card card. Add a name, label, and icon, and set show icon and label to true. Then we can start with some basic styling. We will update this throughout the video, but let's start easy. Add styling for card, grid, label, name, icon, and IMG cell. I will just give the card some basic padding of 34px. For the grid, we need grid template areas, columns, and rows. But first, I will add all the elements we need to the card. We can use custom fields for this. I want an icon. This is just an on-off switch. And I want the current temperature setting of the thermostat. For now, I will just add a number here. The icon is a bit more advanced, and we need to add some Java and HTML code. I've explained this in detail in a previous video. This is a way to sort of fake the look of an on-off switch by using two different icons based on the state of an entity. I'll come back to this later as well, but for now I just add the on icon. All right, I can then set up the grid properly. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a typo in the area's code here. The code isn't working until I fix it but I add three columns and three rows. You can see that the icon, the eye, spans the full left side, and the on-off icon spans the full right side. And here I notice that typo, and when I fix the sizing, everything sort of pops into place. Then I can style the individual elements. I will run through this a bit faster, because it feels like I've explained this a hundred times already on this channel. I mostly use font size and weight for the text elements, and I use justify self to position the elements left and right. I set the icon to be quite big at 64px. We also need to style and position the custom fields that we added. Time to make the card functional. I don't actually have a thermostat in my house yet, so I will simulate the functionality of it by using helpers. Start by adding your thermostat as an entity to the card. This might be different for everyone, so you should research how your thermostat or air conditioner works. When we add an entity, the icon turns gray. Button card has that functionality built in for the off state. We can fix it by adding a color to the icon styling. Then let's style the card based on the state of the entity. First I add the on state. To test it, I make a basic adjustment to the background color. I also add a tap action, so that clicking the card toggles the entity on or off. I want to have a subtle gradient background when the entity is on, so I'm using this online editor. After playing around with the different settings, I can just copy the code into the editor. I noticed the card looked better when the second gradient color was full white. Another cool thing you can do is set spin to true. It will make the icon spin around when toggled on. For the off state, I will just use a different icon. I'll also make the default background color white. Now let's make that toggle icon functional as well. Like I mentioned before, this is the same as in one of my other videos. I am creating an if-else function based on the state of the entity, so that the card displays one icon if on, and another one if off. Then I just grab that first color from the gradient, and making the on icon be that color. The state field is currently just a static number. You will probably have to grab this from the attributes of your thermostat, but I'm just using a helper for now. But the code should be similar to what I have here. I'm then using a round function to remove the decimals. If you want finer controls, you should keep the decimal numbers. The last functionality I want is to be able to set my target temperature. I'll do this by adding two buttons, either side of the state element. One for lowering the temperature, and one for raising it. So using the custom fields again, I'm adding two button cards inside our main button card. Notice how I name them btn underscore minus, and btn underscore plus. These will be very basic with just a plus and minus sign. The only styling I do is to remove the background. I then just copy this and change the name and icon to plus. I then add these two buttons to the grid. I want them either side of the state, so I add BTN minus between I and state, and BTN plus between state and icon. We need the same amount of columns on each row, so I make the N and L cells span these two new grid cells as well. I also need to update the column sizing. I want them all to be min content, except for the last column. Now I just want to give the fan icon a bit more space, so I add a bit of padding to the right of the IMG cell. Then I make the plus and minus buttons functional. I want to raise and lower the target temperature. 
How you do this and what service you use depends on your integration and device. Lastly, one neat feature would be to show the actual room temperature as well. So I'm just adding a temperature sensor I have next to the room name. I basically just copy the code from the state custom field and edit the sensor. And that's it. A nice and minimalistic thermostat or air condition card. In terms of functionality, it is pretty basic. I know a few other thermostat cards have heaps of other buttons for heating and cooling, etc. But I think a lot of that can be done through an automation. If you, for example, have the tap action trigger in automation, it could then check the current temperature, and based off that, it could set the air condition into cooling or heating mode. I hope you learned something from this video. As always, the full code can be found on the Gumroad link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.